the bread kitchen. If you try and make a loaf out of 100% rye flour, you can end up with something that's very dense. However, this Polish rye bread uses a combination of flours to balance taste and texture. To make this rye bread, I've got 225 grams of rye flour and 225 grams of strong white flour, 140 ml of lukewarm water and 140 ml of lukewarm milk, or you could use all water or all milk, two teaspoons of dried yeast, one and a half teaspoons of salt and one and a half teaspoons of caraway seeds. The caraway seeds are optional, but the salt is not, and a teaspoon of honey. Dissolve the honey in the milk. All gone. Add in the yeast. Mix well, then leave to stand for 10 minutes for the yeast to get going. Put the two lots of flour, the salt and the caraway seeds in a large bowl and mix them well by hand. Once your yeast is all nice and frothy and smelling yeasty, add it into the flour together with the water and mix to a smooth dough. And what I've got here is a soft, slightly sticky dough. Now knead the dough on a lightly floured surface. I've used the white flour. Knead it for about 10 minutes. Rye flour, and particularly this whole grain rye flour I'm using, is much lower in gluten than good strong white flour. So that makes kneading the dough quite hard. After about 10 minutes of good hard kneading, you should end up with a lump of dough, which feels quite dense, but does have some elasticity about it. Now pop it in a lightly oiled bowl, cover and then put in a warm place until the dough has doubled in size. This dough has been sitting for about two and a half hours now and it's just about doubled in size. I'll turn it out onto this lightly floured surface, knock it back, and then I'm just going to knead it for another two minutes. I'll just shape the loaf into a slight oval, then I'll pop it on a lightly greased baking tray, then I'll put it in my trusty plastic bag, and now I'll leave it for a couple of hours to let it double in size again. This has been rising for about two hours, not doing too badly. I'm just going to dust it lightly with a bit of flour. This happens to be wholemeal flour, but any flour will do. Then I'll slash the loaf with a nice sharp knife along its length. A couple of slashes, about an inch apart. Now we'll bake this at 190 degrees C fan oven, 220 normal oven, for about 25 minutes. After about 25 minutes, the loaf should be a lovely golden colour. Now leave it to cool. This is a loaf that goes really well with smoked meats, smoked cheese and smoked fish. Mm. It's got a lovely crust on it and it really does go very well with smoked salmon. I hope you enjoy making your Polish rye bread and do join me next time in the bread kitchen.